Breaking news from overnight, two children were inside a home when a man and woman were both shot. It happened at a home on Pin Oak Drive after 8 last night. ABC 13's Patrina Adger joins us live with the details. Good morning, Patrina. Good morning. One man is in custody after that double shooting overnight, and we're working to determine who who he is and how this all started. Now, police dispatch did get that call around 815 last night when police got there. They found a man with a gunshot wound to the stomach and a woman with a shot to the arm. They were both transported to Clear Lake Hospital. Their conditions are unknown at this time. Now, the alleged shooter did not get away there. They were held at gunpoint by neighbors until police arrived. Now, there were two children in that home. They were not hurt. They are in the custody of their parents this morning. I'm live in Dickinson. Petrina Adger, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Good morning. I'm Charlie at City live in downtown this morning and later on we do expect to have a court hearing in the David Temple case. This is the Katie man convicted of murdering his wife and unborn child. This all happened back in 1999 and since then it's been two decades of court proceedings. Temple was convicted of the murder back in 2007 but that was later thrown out and he was convicted again for a second time in 2019 but the jury could not agree on a sentence so a new new jury will be brought in to decide and today's court hearing is expected to set a date for those upcoming court proceedings. Charlie at City ABC 13 Eyewitness News. An accused murderer who sent a handwritten note to the judge asking for a chance to get out on bond is due in court today. Alex Haggerty is charged with murdering Brittany Burfield in 2018 and then leading investigators to her body. And the parents of a suspected Michigan school shooter are now in the same jail as their son. Each were given a half a million dollars bond. Charges could come down today against the person who allegedly helped James and Jennifer Crumbly hide in an empty building while authorities search for them. That man claims he was not aware that the parents were wanted. And today, HBD kicked off the department's annual Comida Drive to feed those in need during the holiday season. The food drive started 36 years ago with an officer's concerns for the less fortunate citizens of Houston. We will be there for the 10 a.m. news conference. And we told you earlier about some of the amazing performances at this weekend's Reliant Mayor uh, Lights Mayor Holiday. Blah, blah, blah. Let me say that again. Reliant Lights Mayor gotcha. Holiday Spectacular. Did I get? Uh, I knew what you were talking okay, about. Okay, <laughs> thank you. As long as she knew. Mm -hmm. But one of our favorite moments came courtesy of our very own Mika Knight. Listen. <laughs> Thanks to some microphone issues. So check it out. Can you hear me now? I'm getting it. Right. Well, you know, it's live TV, so, you know, things happen. The mic dropped just for a second. I mean, the crew is amazing, so the mic dropped for a second. And that the band was on beat with dropped. you. Like, the band the was like, dropped. we've got you, girl. You know, like, oh, my gosh. Okay, let me just break it down. Samika literally turned around and was like, my mic's not working, guys. My mic. And the band just started, shh, shh. <laughs> and she's like, all right. Oh, my, it was, my it was, one. okay. It was so <laughs> fun. Oh, oh my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Elita, thank you. Hold on, though. Okay. Elita with her, <laughs> with her phone. I didn't care what. It, it was a concert. It was Samika Knight's concert. That's all I know. That's all oh. I know. Can you hear me now? Hey! <laughs> A ringtone, though? Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Lita. when she calls me. Elita. That is okay. what it's going to be. Thanks, God. Yeah. All right. And, and Lita, please yes, make it away. Weather, yes. please. We've got a little bit of rain this morning, but we do have a front coming in. Look at the temperatures this morning in the 70s, but those temperatures are going to be falling through the afternoon. We're talking in the upper 50s, you guys, by this afternoon at 3 o'clock. Lingering rain showers tomorrow, and then we warm up again. Can you hear me now? Oh my gosh. I'm more nervous now than I ever was on stage for the mic show. Oh, oh my God. Gosh. You guys. I can hear you now, Samika. Wait, wait. Alita. Alita, all I want to know. All I want to know. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? 